Hi, everyone. Um, I'd just like to make a few more remarks about the usefulness of NGMATS 1B, um, why you might study NGMATS, um, and kind of how to relate what you learn in this course to all your other courses that you'll encounter uh, in your university careers. Um, my research interests generally consider um, fire. So I simulate um, fire spread, usually bushfire spread, although more recently I've looked at small scale combustion as well. Um, all of the models that I use um, are based on ordinary differential equations multivariate calculus, and in order to apply some of the lessons that we learn from um, fire spread science, you often need to use uh, probability as well. Now, that's quite relevant to a lot of military uh, or defense personnel and defense engineers. Um, I've got this photo here of a, a, a ship that's on fire. Um, it's a container ship, it's a civilian container ship. Um, Obviously, uh, defense assets uh, are much more flammable and much more likely to go on fire if they're under attack. Um, and I just thought in this little section, I've actually described how um, fire safety science um, relies on the three topics that you will look at in this course. Um, fire protection systems or means of automatically detecting and extinguishing fires or the best way to put out fires. Um, they're used everywhere in buildings as well as ships um, and military assets and so on. Electrical engineers design the control systems for those devices. Mechanical engineers design pumps, nozzles and sprinkler systems. Chemical engineers design uh, fire retardant materials. Civil engineers have to design buildings that have to uh, withstand um, certain fire risks. To estimate how your fire spreads, you will often use a model um, of combustion. And that model of combustion is fundamentally based on ordinary differential or partial differential equations. Um, so, Multi um, ordinary differential equations are fundamental to modeling um, these kind of situations. And you'll learn the basics of ODEs in this course. So you'll learn how to solve the basic ones. Uh, you'll learn how to classify them and you'll learn how to, to interpret some of the results and build your own models for simple situations. Um, the simple situations are things like draining tanks and things like that, like water tanks. Um, rather than combustion, which gets quite complicated. Multivariate calculus is used to um, model, say, radiative heat transfer. You often have to compute these so-called configuration factors uh, to estimate how much heat transfers from the fire to an object. Um, and obviously that determines how likely something is to burn. Probability. Um, and prob reliability theory and probability distributions and so on. They're all used in order to model um, risk from fire um, or uh, the risk of a fire suppression system failing. So one of the most routine things in uh, fire safety calculations in buildings is you draw up a circuit diagram of the sprinkler system, all the pumps, all the different sprinkler heads, all the detectors, and you assign and measure probabilities of how likely these things are to fail, and therefore estimate the overall failure of the, or the probability of the overall failure of the system, that the fire suppression system fails completely. And you obviously want that probability to be very, very small. And so you have to design your system with redundancies to minimize the risk of system failure. And you'll be able to, you get the basic probability tools that you need to do that and to solve that problem in this course. So there are some of the practical applications that you might see of the material that you learn in this course. There are obviously other courses in university that you will do subsequent to this one, which rely on the material that you are taught in this course. Um, a lot of students tend to compartmentalize their learning. So they think I've done NGMATS 1A, 
I'll never need that material ever again in my life. That's not a good idea. Do not compartmentalize your learning because all your other courses build upon one another. So EngMaths 1B follows from 1A, EngMaths 2A follows from 1B, etc. You will see ODEs and modeling in your electrical engineering subjects, in subsequent mechanical subjects, in second and third year, civil subjects as well um, involve multivariate calculus. Um, fluid dynamics is all partial differential equations, which obviously build on ordinary differential equations and so on. So don't compartmentalize your learning. Instead, look to relate the different courses that you study to one another. Try and find examples of EngMaths 1B in your engineering subjects that you study concurrently uh, and in the future. And just remember that all the subjects are going to build upon one another and can be related. So I think that's quite an important point to get across.